Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about selection rule for rotational spectra. There are many molecules that form spectra. We have already talked about three spectra till now. Rotational spectra, vibrational spectra and electronic spectra. These spectra are formed due to the transition of the molecules. In this video, we are going to talk about rotational spectra. Not all the molecules form rotational spectra. Only some of the molecules form rotational spectra. What is the reason for that? Why few of the molecules form rotational spectra and few cannot? In this video, we are going to see the rule that must be followed by the molecule to form rotational spectra. So, let's start. There are two rules that a molecule must follow in order to form rotational spectra. First of all, let's talk about the first rule. The first rule says that the transition, the transition happens or occurs only between, only between the adjacent, adjacent rotational adjacent rotational energy level that means that means del j must be equal to plus minus 1 where plus 1 is for absorption absorption of energy and minus 1 for emission emission of energy so this rule is trying to say that the transition will happen only between the adjacent energy levels that is adjacent rotational energy levels we know that the rotational energy levels are like this right so let's consider this to be zero so it will be plus one plus two plus three plus four minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Okay. First of all, the molecule will be here. Now, if it gets energy, then it will transit to plus 1 only. It will not go from 0 to plus 2. Okay. It will only go to plus 1. This is for absorption of the energy. Now, if it goes downwards like this, this is for emission. Emission and this is for absorption of the energy. Okay. So, for a molecule, to form rotational spectra, the transition must follow this rule that is del j must be equal to plus minus 1. That means it should transit only to one energy level. So this is the first rule. Let me read this part. Now, the second rule is the molecule must have a permanent a permanent dipole moment dipole moment permanent dipole moment that is mu to be to be rotationally active rotationally active or microwave active microwave active we know that a rotational spectra is also called microwave spectra because the wavelength of the radiation lies between this region okay in microwave microwave region so this is the second rule and perhaps the most important rule the molecules must have a permanent dipole moment so you need to remember that it should not change its dipole moment and it should not have dipole moment equal to zero it must have certain dipole moment and it should not change at any cost if these two rules are satisfied by a molecule then we can say that the molecule follows sorry the molecule forms rotational spectra or it is microwave active or rotationally active okay so these are the two rules so according to this rule can you tell me will h2 hydrogen molecule show uh, rotational spectra 
what do you think the answer is no it will not form rotational spectra as it its dipole moment is dipole moment is zero so homonuclear homonuclear diatomic molecules like see i'll write this homonuclear diatomic molecules diatomic molecules can you tell some example like h2 n2 o2 cl2 etc etc do not do not form rotational spectra spectra as they don't have dipole moment as they don't have dipole moment so homonuclear diatomic molecules like these they don't form rotational spectra as they do not have dipole moment okay but on the other hand like hcl will it form rotational spectra what do you think yes it will form yes here it no okay it does not form why it will form because its dipole moment its dipole moment is permanent is permanent that is it does have dipole moment but its dipole moment will not change okay it its dipole moment is permanent that's why it forms rotational spectra let me erase this portion now there is a question for you tell me will uh, carbon dioxide and water form rotational spectra carbon dioxide and water h2o and co2 which of these will form rotational spectra this is a very important question that are frequent that is frequently asked in examination as well which of them will show rotational spectra so for that we need to see whether they have permanent dipole moment or not and for that we need to see its structure the structure of water molecule is like this and the structure of carbon dioxide is like this so it has shape that is its shape is v shaped and its shape is what linear carbon dioxide has linear shape and because of this because of this v shape there will be the effect of electronegativity and that's why it will have permanent dipole moment permanent dipole moment and at the same time there won't be any electronegativity effect on carbon because oxygen on the two sides will pull with equal force and it will not have not have dipole moment dipole moment now you got the answer i think so this will form that is this is microwave active microwave active microwave means rotational okay microwave active it is microwave inactive microwave inactive so this is the condition see h2o forms rotational spectra but carbon dioxide do not form rotational spectra in this way you can find yourself which of the molecules form rotational spectra which cannot just by following the two rules the two rules were uh, the transition occurs only between the adjacent energy levels that will that means del j is equal to plus minus one plus one for absorption minus one for emission of the energy and the second one was the molecules must have permanent dipole moment it should have certain value of dipole moment and that should not change at all if these two conditions satisfies then uh, those molecules form rotational spectra i hope you understood everything about selection rule of rotational spectra that's all in this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video